my lovelies and welcome to my channel this is prayer case nails so let's get into the video guys i will be creating some well one watermelon nail it's going to be a nail dip video i'm going to be using um the luminous um neon gel polishes that i received as pr from rosalind so this is a pretty much easy to follow um nailed it video um i thought well summer's coming to an end soon and i didn't get to do a watermelon set so this pr literally came at a really good time so i'm super happy that i'm able to do at least a nailed it video using this um here i'm just applying the pink one and then before curing you can cure if you want um, i'm going in with the green color and um, being careful not to touch each other because as I said I've not cured the bottom one you can cure it as you go along just so that you don't do any cross contamination once you're done um, uh, cure for 60 seconds using an LED nail lamp um, and then I'm going to go in with a second coat I do put the flash on so you can just have a little look at the color I wasn't sure which was the best way to show it so Here's me going in with a second coat and oh my god guys, I absolutely love this neon luminous jelly set. It's super cute. If you haven't watched my unbox and review um, swatch video, please do so because there's six colours in the set. Um, here I'm just using two out of the six just to create my watermelon. I think it went absolutely well. I think the colours were perfect for this. And I really hope you enjoy it. Actually, even before I even created this set, I was actually talking to my sis, um, Mama Does Nails. Just <laughs> We were just talking about how to actually do a watermelon nails because none of us really ever looked into it or we, I don't think any of us done it before. So we were just like going back and forth. I'm like, it's okay. I'll figure out as, I, as I'm sitting down. So I didn't even look at any watermelon nail videos. So I'm literally just going with the flow here. Um using um, a white gel polish and using a liner brush i'm just going where the red and the blue meet the red and the blue the red and the green meet or the pink and the green should i say oh god um i'm just doing a line across it don't cure leave it wet because i'm going to come in with another brush um it's a gradient brush and i'm going to like um go on the um the lines and blend it out a bit so it's not too sharp so it just you know, it looks like the way the watermelon does. Um, I do actually, um, I will be honest with you, after I do this bit, I don't think it got, I don't think it recorded on the video. You will see later on when you go back on the video, you'll see. Um, I do go in with another layer of green and then I blend that down over the white a bit, but that will show later on. Unfortunately, I didn't catch that on the video because I think my video stopped or my camera stopped. But once I'm happy with the blend, I do go in and cure it in the LED lamp for 60 seconds. Um, so I'm not getting it perfect either because it's not really perfect. I just want to blend them out, but just make sure none of the um, green and the red, uh, pink, should I say, gel polish was coming through. I didn't want it to come through. So once I'm happy, I am going to use um, a dotting um, tool just to do the little black seeds so I'm using black gel polish and just basically putting a dot and pulling down and I'm literally going in between each of the gaps until I get all the way down to the nail tip and once I'm happy with that I know I'm going a bit fast but once I'm happy with that I will be curing for 60 seconds um, in the LED lamp um, which is yeah I mean, I'm quite happy with it. This is my first time doing a watermelon nail. Um, if anyone else has done a set or has seen a good watermelon nail set, definitely um, link them for me down below in the comments because um, I'll check it out. But yeah, I just wanted to just go the flow and just wanted to create something that's quick and easy. And especially if it's something that I've not created before. So you've seen it's really easy to do. You can add as much or as less little seeds as you want. And this is my favorite part, guys. It's the top coat. So if you can see at the top where the green is, is what I was talking about earlier. After I did the seeds, I went in with another layer of green and blended it down onto the white part just to have a nicer blend of how it looks on the actual watermelon. So it's not so sharp. Also, I want to say a big thank you to my sister, Raven, from Raven's Reviews, for doing me my thumbnails, honey. I really appreciate it. Please check out all my charm sisters. I will tr um, leave their um, 
YouTube channels in the description box below, so go and show them some love. I also want to say a big thank you to everyone for being with me and watching my videos and always supporting me. I love you, my amazing nail family, my little subbies, and my nail sisters. You guys are freaking awesome. And to all my new subscribers, thank you, honey. I do see you guys. Um, I just want to say welcome to the nail family, and I hope to catch you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.